All right, social studies. Now just keep in mind that you have to use your imagination. And work with me. <laughs> so friends, remind me what we were talking about yesterday. We were talking about primary and secondary items. What is a primary item? Christian. Yes. What is secondary? M. Yes. So, I have some incredible things. I have a very rare item that was found in a dig, archaeological dig. It is pottery of an ancient Jedi. <laughs> he is very, very rare and ancient. He was found in a Jedi temple. He is old. And I have an artifact or something that was made from. Tell me. Tell me which one is primary and which one is secondary items. Primary or secondary? Which one? Which one is primary? If I, which one was found in an ancient Jedi temple? Or <laughs> Abe. Ah, uh, yes. The ancient pottery. Yeah, right. It's very, very, very old. So old, it's got mold growing on it. Why is this a secondary source? Why is this little picture of this guy a secondary source? When Sheen. It is not. It is a picture of the real thing, right? So somebody took a picture of this ancient pottery of a very ancient tribe of Jedis and put it on a cup. Primary, secondary. All right, bear with me. I was so excited, now he's not that close. In an archeological dig in Egypt, this was found. They believe it is a toy of an Egyptian child back in ancient oh. Egypt. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> is this a primary or a secondary source? It's a baby. It is an ancient Egyptian toy played with by an ancient Egyptian child. Thousands upon thousands of years ago. It's in really miraculous shape, quite honestly. Is this primary or secondary? Primary or secondary, Luke? Yes, why? Because it's the actual thing. Yes, very good. Oh man, I'm so excited now. Now, this is a replica picture of, let's see, Christopher Columbus's map. <laughs> is this a primary or a secondary source? Primary or secondary, Helen? Secondary? Yes. Why? Helen? Because it's a, it's like a Yes, it's not the actual thing. Now in your book, you saw a picture of Christopher Columbus's actual map. It looks exactly like this one. No, not at all. Not at all. No. Not even up. Inty, 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 close. This, friends, is from NASA. Is that blanket? This is a blanket used by the astronauts in the Apollo. That tin foil. It's a blanket <laughs> that came from NASA. <laughs> <laughs> That is used on 
the Apollo. And NASA sent it to me for you to see. Do you not all feel so lucky? No, it is actually a blanket. It is actually a blanket. Yeah, it's wrapped in tin blue. No, it's not tin. It is a blanket from the Apollo. Is this a primary or secondary source, friends? NASA sent it to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> primary or secondary? Cool. Yes, why? Thank you. NASA sent it to me. Like it's true. All right, this one is really, really spectacular. It's mind blowing. You look at you all have it. I have some gold. So this is a picture. Listen, sit, because you're gonna want to sit. You you didn't even know you had this in your possession. This is a picture of an ancient owl breed from thousands of years ago that taught math. This is brilliant. Brilliant. All right. All right. Primary is this owl photo of the ancient owl breed. Secondary or primary source? Emma? Secondary. Secondary. Wouldn't you love to see this breed? I got something so precious. And you all have it. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. I got something so precious. So precious. This friend is a fossil. Oh, but friends, one, two, three, eyes on me. Turn around, focus, and star. I like to do fun things, but you have to listen. This is an ancient fossil of a sea anemone. Yes. Right. Say that fast. Sea anemone. Sea anemone. Is this a, is this a primary or secondary source? It's very, surprisingly, for being thousands of years old, it's surprisingly soft. Yeah. Because it's not a fossil. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wenxin, primary or secondary? Yes. Why? Because it is the actual fossil. Have you ever been to school before? It's amazing. Yes. What's that? That's the fossil of Roger. Who's Roger? Oh, you Roger is not dead. Roger is alive. We cannot say he's a fossil. That's disturbing. Okay. One more. An ancient Greek urn found in the ancient grounds in Greece. Athens, to be most specific. Isn't it beautiful? No. Hey, listen, listen. It sounds amazingly like tin. I mean, we are among, we have brilliance in this classroom, friends. Primary or secondary? Luke. Primary. Why? It ain't, not just anywhere in ancient Greece. It is an ancient Grecian urn. It's amazing. 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 All right. Did you all know that you had such greatness in your room? Yeah. Who oh, knew? Can we the hat? Oh, come on! It's lovely. It's lovely. Come on. It's beautiful. All right. So now that we have learned more about 
Okay, everybody, put your things down. You seem to get the primary, secondary source much better than yesterday, because yesterday I wasn't sure. So primary source is what? M. Right. Secondary is what? Christian. When somebody takes a picture of it? Yes, and puts it in like a book or um, so a book or some kind of other uh, source of study materials. So yes, very good. I am so glad that all of my ancient artifacts came candy. Sure. Yeah, you they, yeah. They're priceless. I especially am so excited about the owls teaching math. Who knew? Owls yeah, you found them. The ancient breed of owls. Ancient owls. So. <laughs> All right, friends, it is time to come back, come back to class. We need to star now. Yes. So, oh, Mrs. Pinka, you missed all the fun. Oh, yes. We had so many ancient artifacts in our classroom. No, we did We found the I feel like I was just Yeah, it, it, was, it was pretty spectacular. We found garbage. <laughs> oh, come now. Ancient artifacts. All right, friends, let's come back. One, two, three. Eyes on me. One, two, eyes on you. So now that we are done, unfortunately, with our amazingly enchanting discussion about primary and secondary, we are going to talk about trading. So, very exciting. Yes, Dave. Yes. So, who can tell me what trading is? What does it mean to trade? Olivia. Very nice. And I like how you use cocoa beans. Makes me very happy. So let's say someone came to me and wanted some ancient artifacts. Oh, no. So this ancient, a museum is looking for some ancient artifacts. Friends, it is time to stop them. I can't, I won't be able to do fun things with you if this is how you're going to act. It was fun, well, but now we need to focus on what we're doing. So a museum comes to me and they really want this ancient artifact of the ancient Jedi Knight or Jedi breed. So, I'm going to make a trade for maybe... Gosh, I would really love an ancient to put into my collection an ancient sea anemone fossilized. So soft. I don't know how it can be so soft. But to trade, now if I were to barter, what's the difference between bartering and trading? M. Yes. To trade, you need to make a profit. What is a profit? So if the museum came to me and wanted to, wanted my rare find here, my rare pottery, what would they have to give me in exchange? Grant, yes. And this is so rare that I could make a lot of money and make a big profit from this rare, rare item. 
Sure, that would be lovely. So, friends, so now the new world has been discovered. And when the world, new world is discovered, there are lots of items that people didn't know existed. So trading became everywhere. Trading for different items. And on your pay, on page 18 shows you a map of the trading routes. So from the new world to Europe, a lot of trading was going on. So men, one, on page 18, it says one of the main reasons European countries built colonies was for what? You have to have your books open, your textbooks open to page 18, please, and then you can read along with me. Page 18. Colonies were built for what? Friends, you need to pay attention. It is time to star. We had our fun, but now we need to focus. Um, Olivia. Trade. Yes. The colonists shipped wood, furs, tobacco, and fish to Europe. The ships brought back clothes, china, furniture, and other items of luxury or expensive things. So why would expensive things come from Europe and not from the colonies? Christian. Because Europe had more money and stuff, and um, the colonies uh, didn't have that much money and stuff. Very good. So Europe has been established for hundreds of years already. So they have established a, a the ability to produce some ma amazing things, like luxury items, whereas the colonists in the New World, they really don't have much of anything except raw materials. Like what I mean, what do I mean by raw materials? Tyson. Like raw wood, raw, raw rock, raw food. Right, raw meaning you get it from the ground or you get it from nature. They get things like fish, wood, um, tobacco, what else? Furs. Now, Europe doesn't have a lot of wood because it's already very established and it's overgrown. Because remember, that's why people were leaving Europe, because they wanted land. So Europe needs the raw materials so that they can build, they can make things. And the, the colonists would like some nice things, nice furniture, china, nice things that Europe can offer. So there's trading going on. They also brought back tools and weapons on the return trip from Europe. Ships might stop in the Caribbean to pick up sugar and molasses. So now that the new world is being discovered and now that the ships are all going out to discover new lands, they are discovering a lot of products that they didn't have before. So, page 19, sadly, Europeans and colonists also traded people. These people were sent to plantations or large farms. Can anyone give me the definition of what is being said here? The trading of people, what does that mean? Jonathan. Does anyone want to add to that? Tyson. They're kind of like slaves. Bingo. People were buying people to work. Just let me finish. You, what is slavery? M. A 
and where do they get these people? Let's find out. So these plantations, like especially in the South, they had these huge cotton plantations that required a lot of work because everything was done by hand. So envision that and sugarcane. Plantations needed many workers to grow sugarcane, coffee, tobacco, and cotton. Plantation owners bought, bought workers from Africa. The Africans were packed tightly in ships. Then the long voyage between the Caribbean and the colonies. Many died on the voyage. Many died as slaves in the Americas. So did the slaves from Africa come because they wanted to or were they forced? This is crucial for you to understand what slavery was. James. Forced? Yes. They were physically forced to come to different areas out of Africa into the colonies, met a lot of them, and into Europe. And they were bought and sold like other products, like clothes and china and furniture and wood and furs and tobacco. They became a raw material. But the unfortunate thing was, is they were people. So that, friends, is the ugly reality of slavery. Some Christians thought it was wrong to own Christians, to own Christians as slaves. Most Africans were not Christians at the time, so some Christians believed it was not wrong to own African slaves. Does that make any sense? No. no. People are people. Um, Jesus taught his followers that anyone can be, could be a neighbor. Christians should not have enslaved people. Christians should have loved them as neighbors. So we have all this trading going on, and unfortunately, um, Jeremiah, please take those out of your hair. Unfortunately, along with all the raw materials, people were being traded as well. And that is the ugly part of the time frame that we are in. So let us, does anybody have any questions? We have gone from silly to sobering, right? And like, like that. We had funny and now this isn't so funny. But that is social studies, I guess. We go to funny to scary. Not scary, but sad. All right, turn to this, page 10. I want for you to work on this. This is a study guide, and I want you to t show me what you have learned. Now, can you use your textbook to find your answers? Yes. Absolutely. What words in your textbooks are really good to look for when you're skimming through? Tessa. The bold words. Yes. So you are going to look from the beginning of the textbook to where we left off, which is trading. And you are going to work on that for a little bit, and then we will touch base and see how you did. So you may start working now.